going on? Hey kids, how's everybody out there in YouTube land? Today I'm starting... You don't say. It's Miss Lily. <laughs> Today I am starting sort of a new chapter in my life. I'm getting ready to move into my own new home, which I'm in the process of shopping for now. After a long journey that uh, started with a divorce and depression and a whole lot of stuff. And one of the mechanisms that I have found to help me deal with the depression that I dealt with from the divorce. Can I help you? <clears throat> was finding little things that give me pleasure. Little things. It's amazing the pleasure you can get out of little things. Now, growing up as a boy, my mother was very much into plants and gardening. And in retrospect, I wish I had spent more time paying attention to uh, those things that, you know, were important to her. Uh, there's a lot I could have learned if I had my head out of my butt, but I didn't. I was dumb and didn't think about it. Now, here I am in my early 60s, <clears throat> 61, and uh, going to be buying my own house for just me, nobody else, just me and, and well, Malvi over here. And uh, so one of the things I want to do is I want to get some house plants for the house. And I want to start learning more about them. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily. Let's go feed. Doing some research. Uh, I used to live in a house full of plants. I didn't pay any attention to what they were. You know, the garden stuff outside, of course, you know, you learn some of that stuff along the way. And I've gardened myself quite a bit. <clears throat> but I've never been much for house plants, And so I'm going to start a new part of my channel. I may even start a new channel about house plants. So I hope you bear with me. You know, it's one of the things I said at, at dealing with depression. It was one of the things I found was that I could really improve my situation by getting something small that would make me happy. And, you know, you can go into, and, and I'm at Lowe's, okay? I'm at Lowe's, a big store, okay? And at Lowe's, you can go in and you can buy a little house plant for like $3 and change. So it's not like it's going to be a huge investment. You don't have to have a lot of money to do this. For $3, I can get a little plant that's going to make me happy. And I want something that will make me happy for the time being. I don't have much room. I only have, I have all my stuff in one, one small uh, 10 by 12 bedroom right now. So uh, I don't have much. But once I have my own place, I'll have a lot more room. So I can't get many plants, but I can get one or two, start with that and go from there. So I hope you'll follow along and uh, watch this journey. And if it sounds like something you might be interested in, like and subscribe. And uh, well, Lily and I'll have more for you here in the near future. Thanks. Uh -uh, here I am inside Lowe's. And I'm looking at all their seeds that they have. And they have a bunch of seeds. Now last year, <laughs> last year I bought some yellow Tumbling Tom tomatoes at Lowe's. <clears throat> That's what they're supposed to be, yellow tumbling toms. And you know what? They weren't yellow. <laughs> and they weren't, well, some of them were tumbling toms, but some of them were completely other stuff. So be careful when you're in Lowe's buying seeds. Make sure you're getting what you're getting. <clears throat> and actually at $1.58 a package, uh, you can get a much better deal online going to places like MI Gardener or Baker Creek or something like that. So, anyhow, here we are in the garden center, and we're going to start looking at plants. Look at this. Look at look at this. <clears throat> air plant for three ninety eight. Cannot get much simpler than an air plant for three ninety eight. Seven dollars ninety eight cents for these little cacti. Succulents. Those are little succulents. Little minimalist, ah. <clears throat> little little airheads inside a little man. Kind of funny and cute. Kind of funny and cute. All right, let's look around, see what they got. <clears throat> okay, so this is uh, it says colorful. Agolan Agolananthus. Okay. 
12, 13 dollars. Ooh, pretty flowers. Look at the pretty flowers on that, huh? Okay, bromeliads. Well, bromeliad is kind of a broad category, but these guys are a type of bromeliad. I guess I'd have to do some homework, figure out exactly what kind, but very pretty. Look at that. They have price on this thing? Nope. No price. That means they're free, right? Okay, nine dollar ten bucks. Ten bucks for a little flowering bromeliad. <clears throat> Bug biting plants. Ooh. Oh, snapdragons, fly plants. Interesting. Oh, look at these interesting cacti down here. Those are cool. Those are really cool. Uh, a little coral, a little coral cacti. That's sixteen dollars. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, some of the things like my mom used to have. My mom used to have something like this. Now this is variegated. What variegated means is not just green. It's green with something else with it. That plant's five bucks. Five dollars. Wow. I'm sure all of these over here are five bucks. Wow, that's a hell of a deal. That's a lot of plant for five bucks. If I had my house, I would do that. <clears throat> but I don't have a house. I don't have room for all that right now. Oh, look at that fern. Look at this little fella down here, huh? Seven ninety-eight. He needs a little bit of. He needs a little bit of water. A little TLC. Okay, we have. Uh, Little tropical guys. Now this is a Rex. And beautiful coloration of stuff in that. All the little speckled dots are on the outside edge. Uh, Lucky bamboos, these are pretty common. Three dollars, see, for three bucks. Three dollars you could get yourself a little Valentine's bamboo plant to have in your house. That's sure to put a smile on your face. <clears throat> or to press the hell out of you, depending on how that could go. <laughs> okay, what else we got over here? Oh, uh, Warnickies. That yeah, little Warnickies is a type of like a snake plant. A type of snake plant right there. Wow. Marginata bicolor. Look at that, Marginata bicolor. Oh, green and white, and it looks like he's got some reds in there. Guys, I am colorblind to pastels, so I don't see much in the way of the red stuff, but still pretty plant. Look at this guy here. What do we have here? Uh, Acosta. Okay. No, Exotic Angel from Costa Farms. Purple Waffle. It certainly has purple up in the leaves. The underside's purple, and the bottom's got all these little dimples and stuff on it. Kind of cool. Oh, look at the hanging plants. How cool is that, huh? <clears throat> Look at these. Curly Locks Ivy. Curly Locks Ivy. $16. Oh, we're not gonna, oh there's a pretty plant. He's got... He's got a cord hanging out of his butt. Obviously for wicking up water. This is Ruby Red. Fidagonia Organora. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty looking plant. I like the colors in the leaves. Okay, that's a possibility right there, guys. Six dollars. That string hangs down. See, and gets down the water and wicks the water up into it. That's how you water it. <clears throat> All right, let's get through the jungle here. Okay, we have a lot of bamboos. A lot of bamboos in pots. So, you know, $12.98, you're paying much for the pot as you are for the plant. But there's still some really cool ones. Look at that one. All kinds of interesting shaped designs where they've been worked on. What is this? Uh, money tree. Yeah, who says money doesn't grow on trees, huh? A little money tree. This guy's got a big fat belly like I do. Are you saying that's a bonsai? What kind of bonsai is that? Uh, 
Oh. Bonsai Wick and Grow. Doesn't say what it is. Huh. <coughs> All right. Here's some pretty flowers. Some more pretty flowers. Oh, look at these. They've actually put sparkle on that. Now, I don't like this. These things are pretty enough as it is without them adding sparkle to it. But look at that red. Really little sharp edges. This guy's kind of dainty. Nice little succulents. Succulents and the good old-fashioned snake plant. Look at the snake plant. Very, very typical. Yep, easy to maintain, easy to take care of. That would be a nice, that would be a nice idea, 10 bucks though. <clears throat> 10 bucks, I want to start smaller than that. Some more air plants and some more succulents down below for $10. more house plants how are you doing today Good. all right wow well, all kinds of so a jungle in here guys i mean this is a jungle back in here look at this huh all right now what do we got here all right this is pothos a very common house plant. Very, very common. Pothos is probably one of the most common. Again, it's got the string at the bottom for wicking up water. Ten dollars. That's a nice plant. Create a lot of oxygen. This is a, a crouton. Croton. Croton. Oh, look at how pretty the leaves are in that. Look at that coloring and stuff. So it starts out green and then it turns into this dark red. Seven dollars. That's a possibility. That's a possible. Oh, some ivy. Look at this ivy. Starling ivy. Look at that little dude. Look at that little dude. Isn't that interesting? Look at the leaf design on it. It's like, it looks like marijuana growing. <laughs> it's not. Six dollars. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's an idea. And here's some more of an English ivy here. Variegated. Again, variegated, exotic angel, variegated, meaning it's just got these light colored marks on it. That's kind of cool for six dollars. <clears throat> and on the other side over here, ooh, okay, another purple waffle. Here's a combo. Why does it say combo? Huh. All right. A Dorado. That's sort of interesting. Look down in there. Kind of an interesting little plant. Oh, he's sort of bright yellow limelight. Yeah, bright yellow. Huh? <clears throat> That's kind of cool. Oh, look at the leaves on that. Isn't that pretty? You know, when you're looking at plant, plants, I like to look at textures and colors and shapes. Uh, interesting shape, leaf shape here, kind of waxy. What is that? Marble Peperomia for $4. Well, oh, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Huh. <clears throat> and for six dollars, we have a Lusanne. Interesting. Interesting. What else? We got more ferns. More ferns. Okay. So now what to do, huh? What to do? Well, let's get some top choices. I kind of like this little dude. I was hoping they would have some cacti. You didn't see any cactus in here, did you? No. <laughs> Thanks. I was really hoping to see some cacti. But I didn't, I haven't seen any cacti. Huh. Some succulents, but no cacti. Okay. 
I kind of like this guy, so let's start with him. How much were those corals? <sighs> 16. Yeah, I don't want to spend that much money today. I don't want a fly eating plant. <laughs> Had the little, the little bicolor. That would give me some tall, spiky stuff, which would be an interesting texture to go along with, with that, wouldn't it? This and that, and that. I mean, short and broad, and these are tall and spiky. And then I need something with a little. Ash a color, and so I kind of like this little dude. Six dollars is pretty. What do you guys think? Is that a good, not a good first haul? I'll give me three nice little plants to get going, and I'll spend what four? Of those are three ninety-eight, so four eight. Eight, uh, six, twelve, fourteen, fifteen dollars. I, I would like to get a little, a little pot or something to put them all in, <clears throat> just so I have something that would enable me to have them all displayed at once. Let's see what we can find, shall we? could just use a plate out of the kitchen. Probably the smartest thing for me to do. So I uh, just get, got done at Lowe's and uh, kind of disappointed. I was really hoping that they would have more uh, inventory, but you see there's, there's Lowe's. Uh, but anyhow, let me show you, let me show you what I got. Cause I got three really cool things, okay? For starters, I got this little dude. Now, this says it is a marginata, marginata bicolor, uh, otherwise known as a, a ooh, Dracania margiata. Dra so it's a Dracula plant. <laughs> it's a it's a, a bicolor. So it's got green and it's got red in it. I love the texture. The really tall leaves. Um, should be really simple to take care of. He's got this little string hanging from the bottom. As long as this sits in a pot that's got water in it, it will wick water up into the dirt, keep this thing, uh, keep this thing growing. It in, enjoys medium sunlight, so where I'm going to have it temporarily in the room is going to be a little dark. It's going to be a little dark for it, um, but maybe I can figure out a way to put it over by my window. But isn't that kind of cool looking? I don't know, it's got this little leaf off of something else in there, but really, really like that jungly look to it. Really looking forward to uh, taking care of that and seeing how big that gets. That's going to be uh, kind of a cool thing to have. Okay, the next thing I got was this little dude. He's really cool. I like the I like the green waxy leaves, and uh, I like the shape of them. The nice big you know wide palms. This is called a marble peperomia, or a peperomia obtusifolia. Ob, so it's an obtusive peperonia. <laughs> These names crack me up. They really do. But really like the the coloration on this. Uh, the deep, rich green, the lighter green on the underside, a little paler on the underside, waxy and, and kind of pretty. Again, it needs medium light, so it's the same as my other plant. So, can't wait to get home and research these and find out a bit more about them. Very cool. Okay. And then my third and final plant for today, which was the most expensive, actually, both of those two were $3.98 each, so four bucks. 
Because this one here was six dollars, five dollars and ninety-eight cents. <clears throat> and again, grown by Costa Farms. Um, this is called a ruby red. Fitonia Orgy 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 Ronea Runea. Fitonia or so it's a fit orgy. <laughs> Something I am not and haven't had in a long, 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 long time. Anyhow, <laughs> really a firm top. I mean, it's kind of structurally, it's very strong. Lots of little stems sticking up. So it's almost like it's four or five plants together in this pot. I just really like the coloration on the leaves. I don't know if you can see that, but the variegation in the leaves, the, the stemming of the, the stems versus the color of the underlying leaf. So it's kind of green with this pinkish roots on the top, but on the bottom, it's kind of a light green and white. Um, <clears throat> dark green stems, multiple stages coming up in pairs. Um, so I like, the, I like the colors, I like the textures, I like the, the variation in colors with that. And how cool, I mean, how cool is that? You know, for for what I spend, 15 bucks, I got this nice little grouping of plants, all different textures, all different colors, that will very easily, you know, brighten up my, my little room and give me lots of joy. And if you know, if you can't appreciate something as simple as a four dollar plant and think to yourself how nice that is and how pretty it looks and how much it's going to be nice to have in my in my house. I don't know. Something wrong with you. I wonder what my mother would think of these. You know, I'm I'm kind of doing this as a as a nod towards towards my mom and her expertise of this kind of stuff and what she liked to do. Um, so I'd be really interested to know what her thoughts would be about these particular plants and their caring. They all seem to have about the same light requirement. They all are potted up about the same. They all have the same string hanging from it for wicking moisture up into it. So care for them should be pretty simple. I'm simply gonna put these in a small pie plate and, and put them on the shelf next to my TV or uh, back and forth between that and, and in front of the window uh, in my little room so they can get some sunlight, partial sunlight, diffused sunlight. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Makes me happy, that's what matters, right? All right. I'm going to take these home. We're going to research them on the internet, find out more about them, and I'll be back with that information. So we're back here at the house. I'm in my room. And uh, thought I'd go through these plants one by one with you and go in a little bit more detail. Okay, pull the label out. <clears throat> All of these come in with a little plastic cup. They got a little wicking string on the bottom so that you can put them someplace with some water. Now, these are all... Uh, uh, propagated and uh, delivered to Lowe's apparently uh, and they all come from Costa Farms and I gotta admit I really like the little labeling and stuff that they do so on here this is uh, considered an exotic angel plant um, it's called Marble Peperomia Peperomia Okay, so what does that mean? Peperonia abisfastolia from South America. And uh, it enjoys medium light. You can see it says here on the label. On the back, they give you care instructions for it, which, I mean, just makes it pretty much stupid simple. Medium light, water when soil feels dry. Put your finger in there if it feels dry. It needs a little water. Um, fun to collect, and I agree with that. Medium growth, fertilize every month. Likes to be between 65 and 80 degrees. So, here inside the house with medium light, take this, put it over by the window, and uh, it'll do fairly well. <clears throat> the coloring on it is uh, said that it will fade if I don't let it have some bright light from time to time. So, I thought that was pretty cool. So, I got online and I printed out a whole bunch of papers here on some of these different uh, some of these different plants because this peperomia uh, 
obtus, obtusifolia uh, is also known as an American baby rubber plant. Well, I wasn't aware of that. <clears throat> um, and yes, they are from South America. Um, they like uh, high habitats uh, with high humidity. So a forested area with a lot of humidity and nutrients provided from tree debris and that kind of natural stuff. Which is kind of interesting. <clears throat> it says they get to be 25 to 30 centimeters tall and they are non-toxic to cats and dogs. Which is pretty cool. Um, it can put up a small flower, but it's pretty rare that they will do that as a house plant. It grows pretty small, uh, pretty slowly uh, for a house plant. And they give you online, I found some more growing instructions about light and water and soil and repotting. Now, repotting is something I'm going to have to do here pretty soon. These guys look like they're a little pot bound, uh, which is not surprising. But uh, for the time being, it's fine just the way it is. And uh, as I get a little further along, I'm going to try playing a little bit with uh, um, propagating. Propagating. This one in particular, if you look at the base here, it looks like it's three, maybe three distinct different plants. And so what I can do is, when I go to repot this, um, I can separate those three plants into three separate pots and get three of these guys growing instead of just, you know, one. Although I have to admit, the one looks kind of nice just like that. So, and now if you split it, you could get three of these pots and put one of these in each one of these pots. That would work well for a while. But I really like it. I like the green uh, waxy leaves. <clears throat> really a cool plant. I like that one. Okay. Let's move on to our next guy. And this is our um, Marginata bicolor. Now, a Marginata bicolor, this is actually a Dracaena uh, bicolor, uh, bi Dracaena Marginata. And um, it is native to Madagascar, the island of Madagascar, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I really like the spiky texture of it. It goes great. Uh, in the pot here with my other plants. It gives a nice, you know, conceptual idea, <laughs> as my ex-wife would say. No, I really like the way that the, uh, hold on, let me go right here. I really like the way that the three plants kind of go with each other. You know, this one's short and waxy, that one colorful, this one's spiky. It makes for some interesting textures uh, for them to go with each other. So from Madagascar, enjoys medium light. Oh, it's medium light, okay. <clears throat> and uh, the same kind of information, you know, water when the soil field damp, um, easy to grow, medium growth, uh, fertilize once a month, 65 to 80 degrees. Uh, so again, the Costa labels are pretty cool on these. Um, but yeah, so another fairly easy plant to grow um, and something that is just kind of fun for me to have, you know, right now I, I, I'm in the process of trying to buy my own house. So I don't have a lot of room here in my room. So it's just kind of nice to have something living and green and growing here inside, uh, here inside with me. I think it's kind of cool. Okay, so that's our American baby rubber and our uh, Dracaena, uh, the dragon tree, Dracaena margiata, the dragon tree, they call that. Dragon tree. Well, you know, it looks like something you'd expect to see in a in a in a movie with uh, you know uh, something prehistoric, you know, dinosaurs or whatever. It's pretty cool. Okay, last little guy here is our Fetonia, and you can see how pretty the veining and the coloring is with that. Again, this looks like there's four or five plants inside this. Uh, which is about a four inch plant. Again, it's got a wicking string on the bottom. So it makes it easy to keep them moist. And uh, this guy, he's from Peru. So if you know anything about Peru, it's very mountainous. So he probably likes high altitude. Um, Ruby red, Fetonia. Now I thought this said uh, <laughs> uh, orgy uh, something, but it's, it's not an A, it's an A. 
A R G Y R O N E U R A. So, uh, Ar Argirona, I guess. Anyhow, uh, interesting little side note. These were discovered by a pair of uh, botanists um, and was named after them back in the 19th century, Elizabeth and Sarah May Fitton. Uh, so this is a, a, a Fittonia. This whole genus was, uh, and this is a, a Canthus. This is the subspecies of Canthus, the family. So uh, they, th these two ladies discovered it, and so it was named after them. But otherwise known, commonly known as the nerve, nerve plant. So we have a rubber plant, a dragon plant, and a nerve plant. Kind of interesting, kind of fun. Uh, does well in hanging baskets, it says. I need to do that. I need to get like a, you know, 1970s vintage uh, hemp style hanging basket. Uh, to hang that in. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, but anyhow, the same growing instructions as the rest. Um, this one actually likes low light conditions. So it likes it to be a little bit darker. So it actually do better here in the situation that I have it in here in my room. Um, anyhow, I went to Lowe's. I bought the three of them. This is my receipt from Lowe's. I think, yep, my Lowe's repeat. I spent $14.88, and I have this beautiful little collection now. I have this beautiful little collection of flowers, or flowering plants, well, not flowers, but plants, to grow here on my desk and give me a little joy and a little pleasure and something pretty to look at. So, what a, what a cool, what a cool idea to do something like that, you know? As I said at the beginning of this video, I had gone through some pretty tough times and suffered through some pretty bad depression. I mean, pretty bad. Um, literally, you know, took the gun, went outside the cabin, was up in Alaska with, uh, with intention of ending it all. That kind of serious depression. And I did not at the time. <clears throat> and what's been keeping me sane along the way, besides my puppy dog, Lily, besides having her around, uh, what's been keeping me sane is finding little pleasures, finding these little things, having, you know, a couple little plants to play with and enjoy and talk to and kind of have some fun with, you know. It's it's finding those little patches of joy in your life. And, you know, here it is, February. So there's nothing growing outside. Um, I like to homestead and farm. But, you know, I don't have any baby critters on the property. And uh, once I buy my place, I'll be getting a bunch of stuff. But... For now, it, you know, there's no real new life. Uh, so this is some new life for me to have on my desk. And I really, I really enjoy that. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed uh, learning something a little bit about these plants and watching me, you know, sort of start this whole new direction for myself. Um, I'm not stopping from doing all the rest of the stuff that I do on my YouTube channel. This is something I'm adding to it. So I hope you enjoyed doing this kind of stuff. I'll be doing more of this stuff on an ongoing basis. Uh, both out in the garden and out in the yard, fruit trees, nut trees, um, uh, maples for tapping for syrup, <clears throat> house plants, going to be a broad spectrum of all that around the house, uh, around the household and stuff, so around the homestead. Anyhow, if you like this sort of thing, please do like and subscribe, and we'll have more for you later. Thanks, kids. You guys have a great day. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them, mug a toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in their mouth. I be a toad sucker, don't a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.